was hit that well. And there's the first boundary of the morning. Final leg. Lively with the ball and he's putting a good performance in the field as well. Had that on drive again. And this time he's got absolutely out of the middle. Absolutely cleaned him up. A wonderful wicket for Dion Nash. And look at the face of the New Zealanders there. That is the big one. Tendulkar's World Cup ends with a shattered middle stump. Well, Dion Nash has done it again. He's got the master out yet again. And this time again for a tentative drive. It's not really the full flowing drive that Sachin Tendulkar normally plays more like a push the ball finding the gap just coming in enough to rattle the stumps he's gone for 16 the score 26 for one the end of the 11th over and India are 58 for one he's turning to a new bowler Gavin Larson too straight from Larson it's the punch by Ganguly through mid wicket He'll come back for three shot by Dravid, slightly over pitched by Chris Cairns. Just punched down the ground, no great effort, economy of movement. Bottom hand punching the ball through mid on top shot. Slightly over pitching. Dravid's in the kind of nick. He's not going to miss out on uh, any of these deliveries. out brilliant catch from Stephen Fleming in the gully Al Dravid slashing at a ball outside off stump and that's a good wicket for New Zealand as Dravid's the man in form he's been the batsman of the World Cup so far he's gone now it's just the extra bounce that has done Rahul Dravid here and also playing a little bit away from his body but no mistake by the man at gully India have lost another wicket here. The second one, Drabit gone for 29. It's a crucial wicket. And old Dravid. Jadeja. Jadeja. He's the new man at the crease. It's good work from Chris Harris. Realised very quickly that a run out was on. Jadeja down the wicket looking for the single Chris Harris coming around from backward point very quick would have been out oh, good shot. it's a lovely 
his timing. It's just the most languid touch of uh, the bat on the ball. Lovely little wristy strip. That's a boundary in the last over off Larson. Don't get too many boundaries off him, and you certainly don't get many wides. It's quite a big swinger. Well, Surat Ganguly has made eight singles off the last 24 balls, four overs, and uh, it's uh, underlining how well the New Zealanders are doing. They've targeted him, and they've managed to keep him down to that. Eight singles in 24 balls and make that 25 and gone and forgotten. Beautifully bold. Tie him down, don't let him score anything. And then rip in the Yorker. That is a wonderful piece of bowling by Jeff Allen. Surprise, surprise for Saurav Ganguly. He wasn't expecting this one at all. That's good thinking by the bowler. Was looking at another maybe length delivery and really completely done by that good thinking by Alit Ganguly has gone for 29 he won't be too happy with his outing today it's 97 for 3 it's a good opportunity for Mohamed Azaruddin that lovely shot of uh, the Yorker Bowling figures are quite impressive because India got away to a flyer and then New Zealand have pulled them back a bit, even though India have 100 on the board as we're moving towards the halfway mark. Oh, it's a lovely piece of bowling. It's cost him runs. <laughs> Being so good, there's no slip in there. Well, it's absolute cracker of a delivery. Lovely feeling from uh, Jeff Allen as well. Every now and again you see this happen on English wickets. Ball hitting the seam and deviating a long way. And this is excellent piece of fielding. in front of Adam Perore and it's always the second bound that's difficult to handle. And that's for that's nicely put away by Mohamed Azruddin. He got the width and he went after it. A short ball and width is perfect for the square cut. start off. That was very well played by Jadeja. He used Nash's pace. His placement was spot on. Not such a great ball, but excellent touch by Ajay Jadeja. See now, if India go at six runs and over from here on, they'll reach 242. That's up in the air. Just clearing the fielder. In fact, what an attempt there by Roger Tools. That would have been one of the best catches of the tournament. And he almost got it. This is a good shot to start with. Only thing is, played it a little too close to that field on the boundary line. But I have a look at this. If that would have stuck, that would have been the catch of the tournament. No doubt about that. Good effort and good hand as well. Just popping out agonizingly, last possible moment. Beautifully timed on the onside. Again, a chase here for twos. What an attempt that was. He went flying away to his right. 
Chris Harris being introduced into the attack. He was so quick as a routine to get onto that back foot and put that one away. This is an example, Ravi, of exactly what you were talking about there. Mohamed Azaruddin not committing himself, picking the short delivery. That's the shortest part of the ground here at Trent Bridge. Just failing to clear the ropes. It's been a good partnership between Mohamed Azaruddin and Ajay Jadeja. 50, 69 balls. That's it. Short of the field again at uh, long off. I think Mohammed has already been well happy with the score. Around 230, 240. Shots like that from Ajay Jadeja. We'll see them to that total. Wonderful straight drive. Very full ball from Chris Harris. It's this for a lot of bottom hand. He gets his power from. Well, he didn't hang back on that either. went for a few the other day. It's unusual for batsmen to be able to take to him consistently. But uh, Jaday just played against him on quite a number of occasions. Here's his own plan of campaign. Single. Brings up today just 50. Doing good innings today. Promoted in the order to number four. Good touch all tournament. That is a biggie. And it's right back in the bleachers. Well, this was right in the slot from Nathan Astle. Page is in good touch. Looking to open his shoulders now. A shot with a lot of bottom hand. Beautifully placed. That slip. I was mentioning earlier, they start pushing the ball wide of the fielder out there at deep point, and the one that's stationed at deep square. They're going to pick up two runs, just the occasional boundary as well. That was a lovely piece of placement. Oh. Someone's got it. Three of them looked as though they might have collided for a moment. Perore didn't quite know where it was. As Redin has gone, Miss Queuing on 187, as a lot of people have done over the years, and uh, four down now. Up in the air, Perore wasn't certain where it was. I think the one man who knew where it was was the one who uh, was coming in from cover. And then there's one at backward point as well. Just a little bit of extra bounce here from Gavin Larson, Mohamed Azruddin. Going for the pull, the ball up in the air. And Perore not sure. Three men converging on it. The man with the biggest hands takes the catch in the that's when there's the left hander Robin Singh. He's got that away. Very nearly six. And he's only just come in. Played some wonderful shots in that game against the Australians at the Oval. This is a good, clean hit. Pick the line up early and just hit through the line.
Bristol's continuing. He's even just had this problem of filling in this last bowling option again between Astle and Harris. This should be the last over that they have to fill. They can get their mainstream bowlers back there, and Alice and Cairns. There's the 200. a little while earlier he can hit it a long way that was an effortless shot the bowler just straying in line this is Robin Singh's strength he's picked it up into his favorite area and it's cleared the rope quite comfortably great shot really tough that Well, he's picked up that slower delivery from Dion Nash so quickly. Looked as if he was waiting for it. Lent into it. There's a ball, no ball. Four byes. And that was a beamer. I don't think it was intentional. Got the feeling he might have been attempting the slow delivery. And it slipped out of his hand. But, uh, as if he was attempting the beamer. If you look at that, didn't get held back too much. Never very nice to face as a batsman. I don't think it. I don't think he did really into the beamer. Maybe just a, a Yorker. I admit that. All getting a bit tense. There's so much at stake. Five overs remain. Dion Nash has finished his bowling. That's a mighty blow. Effortless as well. And that's a tremendous hit by Jadeja. Over pitched here and he's really climbed into this one. He gets amazing back speed. Plays shots like this. And Prory should take a straightforward catch. So Jadeja is gone. Going for a big hit over towards the leg side. And that will certainly be a relief to New Zealand. Excellent innings. 76 for 103 balls. And really paid the price of trying to get on with it. Yes, he was done by that slower delivery from Keynes. He was early into his shot. He's looking for the big one. And this is an important wicket for New Zealand because uh, Videja can hit a few sixes at this stage. The boundaries as well. Dangerous player at this stage of the innings. Srinath is the new batsman. And it could be run out first ball. Oh, my word. Well, if that had been a direct hit, well, it's really have given up. <laughs> Almost a run out of Inzaman proportions, this one. Yes, he was looking to send back Robin Singh, and after that single was completed, Robin Singh looked at Srinath and said, well, mind you got to run for everything at this stage. Oh, he's off again. This time, Robin Singh's going to go. No need for the replay. And when they untangle themselves, Robin's on his way. Well, good cricket all round, yes. Good piece of fielding by Stephen Fleming. Great presence of mind to know which end to throw it. Throw to, but look at the work Chris Cairns has done here. Throw has gone to the non-striker's end. And have a look at Chris Cairns here. He had to reach out for the ball, and he knew where the stumps was, took the bales off, and a good decision there by, by David Orchard. He didn't ask for a third empire, so it's turned out to be a good over for New Zealand. Dismissed Jadeja, and now Robin Singh, run out, 243 for six. 
a slightly more contented New Zealand captain. Ryan Monger is the new batsman. <laughs> Not elegant, but it's effective. Just kept that inside the rope. Combination of teamwork there from the New Zealand fielders. Three of them here bearing down on the rope. I think the umpires have asked for clarification here just to make sure that there shouldn't be a boundary. They're quite right to ask as well, just in case, but that shows that uh, it was all clear. Srinath all over the place. 250 for six. I saw him moving on that occasion. India have their 250 for a while, it looked as it might get rather more than that. Srinath finally might be run out, no, he's just made it again, so he's had four lives there, I reckon. And he scurries off, six not out. Longyear, two not out. And India finish on 251 for six. Well, the 90-run stand between Jadeja and Azaruddin was the backbone of that innings. Dravid's 29 meant he closed his World Cup account on 461, and he's the leading run scorer by streets. His nearest challenger is Ganguly, who's 82 adrift. And so Allett made it to that magical 20-wicket mark, but Chris Cairns was the pick of the attack, and Dion Nash suffered terribly after his early dismissal of Sachin Tendulkar for one-day matches. That's our aerial shot. We're going to pick up the innings, one without loss in the first over, Srinath to Astor. Good shot from Nathan Astor. His first ball, nice half volley from Javagal Srinath. Punched it down the ground through the vacant mid-off. He's nicely off the mark, four to his name. Terrific blow from Nathan Astle, using his feet to Debashish Mahanti, smashing that down the ground. That's the kind of shot that we know Nathan Astle's capable of. Haven't seen it too much in this World Cup so far, though. Yeah. Good shot from Matthew Horn, short of a length from Srinath, on the back foot, over the bounce. Punching it through cover, four runs. Once again, Nathan Astle quite prepared to go over the top. Full swinging half volley from Mahanti. And it through and over cover for three. And you have to be careful here. They can't afford to give Nathan Astle too many balls to drive. Debushish Mahanti is just the kind of bowler Nathan Astle wants to get back into form so that he can plant his front foot down and go over the infield. Another good shot from Matt Horn. Short delivery again from Javagal Srinath. Managing to get over the top of the bounce. Cut the ball hard to third man. Jay Jadeja and uh, third man a despairing dive. This is again good bowling. This was very close to the off stump. A good line and good length to bowl to an out of form batsman. Get him to do a lot of thinking. In fact, so close to the off stump, maybe just bounced over the off stump. That's a much better looking shot and better result as well. And 
as Prasad is coming on to bowl the ninth over. That's found the gap. It was perfectly timed. Yes, he tried that shot at least a couple of times in the over and missed it. On this occasion, he's allowed the ball nicely to come onto the bat. Good stride forward. He's not trying to hit it too hard. And again, that's an example of us saying in the last over. Over the top. It's real confidence to play a shot like that. It's the way of combating a slow pitch. clean hit there and that's out the leading edge and Astle goes for 26 the starters look so good very fluent now here trying to turn this away into the leg side it maybe has held up a little bit and there's a catch to Travid India strike. Out comes McMillan at number three. Very well played. That would have been a wide. Instead, McMillan's off the mark with a boundary. Yeah. Well played. And now Tendulkar's given that up. Now, here's Srinath back in the attack. And he's got a wicket straight away. McMillan has looked rather flirty outside the off stump. And he's paid the price. Yes, every time he looks to play the shot of the back foot early on in his innings know that he can land himself into trouble. Now watch this. Hardly any feet movement. He's not forward, not back. Feet are planted to the crease. A pretty straightforward catch there to Rahul Ravid. India struck again. The pressure continues to build on New Zealand. They've lost their second wicket here. 60 runs on the board. So the captain comes out. 60 for two. Should go all the way as well. Yes, it's a good shot. It's not as if he heard the call. He was going to play that shot in any case. Just out of Azza's reach at second slip. And Fleming is off the mark. Under rather fortunate circumstances. Yes, this is a streaky shot similar to the one Macmillan played, only this was a lot straight up. And this has taken a thickish outside edge. Again, not convincing. Not really getting across with that back foot. That's more like it, rather more emphatic. Boundaries in consecutive balls. Well, they're having a great time down there. All sorts of musical instruments in the ground today. Safe. Well, that's the uh, sort of lucky break that can turn a match. Well, Prasad here, just down leg side a little, and Horn looking to work him away through the leg side. All he's got is a leading edge there, and very lucky. Fingertip stuff going on at the moment, but it's another four runs for New Zealand. Mahanti has bowled a good delivery, which has deceived the batsman, drawn him into the stroke. He hasn't been able to get over the top of it. And that 
is a crucial blow. Handy has got the one to go away from the left-hander this time. He is a genuine in-swinger to the left-hander. And that's the alternate ball we were talking about, the one that he pushes the other way and cuts. And he's picked up the wicket of the New Zealand captain, Stephen Fleming. Well, this is a big blow for India. Fleming just losing his poise, you'll notice there, trying to hit it on onside, and has got a little edge, feathered it through to the keeper. Roger Two's the new man, an absolute key for New Zealand now. There's a good shot for four. Nice stroke. Matthew Horn's in good touch today. Good stroke for two again. That's good over for Matthew Horn. Made it very sensibly. New Zealand are going along all right. 100 for three and 23 overs gone. That's the way to do it. That's a nice stroke. Suddenly, since uh, Fleming got out, he started to play his shots. They were both having a bit of a dash at it while uh, Fleming was there. Yes, he's played into the line of the ball here and just picked this up over wide mid wicket. Very good innings, half century for Matthew Horn, 85 balls. Ganguly's coming on. He's grasped that one. That should go for four. A combative player, Roger Toos. Sort of fellow who actually you expect might do rather well in this situation. Sing and we'll go all the way off the bat too. And Gilby's in his second over here. Uh, a filling role. Okay, and Robin Singh will probably share ten overs between them. through the leg side. Curious this, and that with their main economical bowler at one end in Anil Kumble, but at the other, this is probably their least experienced bowler. And the light isn't very good out there. And it's such a tense game for New Zealand to a batting. It takes much more. They'll be asking the umpires to consider the light. I'm not sure the fielder saw that. I don't know cover point boundary. He certainly set off very late. Single wide, <laughs> and Anil Kumble there, I think, absolutely makes his feelings clear. I think you handed that equation at the start of the day. I'll tell you what, lads, we can have 100 to win off 19 overs, seven wickets in hand, and we'll have a game. I think New Zealand probably say yes, please. Flick away for four more. So four wides, four leg buys. 
Well, in the last 10 minutes, India looked like a side that realised they're going home very shortly. I think he might as well keep going. Although he is coming back, he's got enough uh, confidence to come back and have a, a little look and a wait. But it was always going to be a very, very ambitious run unless the fielder happened to be a left-hander and had to skirt around for the ball. Nikhil Chopra is the man, hasn't had much to do in the tournament. He's played the game against the Kenyans. But he's made an important contribution to his side. He's got the well-settled Matt Horn run out at least three feet so living up to his reputation as Matt Horn gets out at the worst possible time for his team as well as for himself he looked all set to get a three-figure knock and come out of his bad patch but lost the opportunity it's 173 for four Toos is 25 and Keynes is the new batsman Chris Keynes might take the shorter approach might hit the odd big one take a few more risks it's a good shout with the angle maybe just carrying the ball down the leg side was it but completely misread the length Chris Keynes on that occasion this is the ball that is pushed through right up there taken on the full and not so sure whether it was missing the stump Run! and he's got it through and well, that'll be a great relief for the New Zealanders one uh, 87 for four. Yes, that is a fact now. Slowly starting to come down here. It's gone pretty dark and at the moment just spraying. Threat all the same. So this is the man the Indians should go after. That's going to be four of something. Four buys. I think it's the uh, type of shot that was attempted to this ball that really did Mongia. Good shot for one. Excellent drive from Roger Twos. Two hundred comes up. Forty third over. We look at uh, Messrs. Singh, Ganguly, Tendulkar. Couldn't they pulled it back after an expensive start? A brilliant piece of fielding. Now Kumble may not have the best day with the ball, but he's fielded really well throughout. Furious blow. That takes a bit of pressure off. Not exactly cultured, but it was extremely effective. Absolutely splitting the two fielders. There's a man at the backward square leg and a man at deep mid wicket. And Roger Twos reaches his 50 with another welcome boundary for New Zealand. It's a couple of good blows he's struck. 
the last two overs. The slip fielder is now gone. And there's four men inside the circle, including Fine Leg. He's up inside now. And he's hit that straight down the long arm's throat. Chris Cairns going for a, a big hit. It didn't seem necessary. Uh, simply launched Robin Singh straight down the ground and into the waiting hands of Anil Kumble. Well, the change has worked for Azza. A bit of a soft dismissal, really. It was a short, wide ball from Robin Singh. Bit of a loosener. Chris Cairns, he's gone for 11. Space everywhere for the quick single. Oh, and that fumble in a situation like this might, in the end, turn the match. Raul Dravid, who's normally a brilliant fielder. May have been the damp ball, but uh, may have been a bit of over-eagerness. A oh, good shot for four. Lovely strike from Perore, who is a dynamic player. He keeps his head. Then New Zealand will do this. This is a terrific shot from Adam Perore. In the air for six, perhaps. Just short of the boundary. And Perore is going to be the man for the moment wonderful over for New Zealand they've slashed Robin Singh away for two boundaries Robin Singh again just giving Adam Perori too much width he's able to free his arms scythe it over backward point for four too short from Schwinnart well, as Richie said this is much too short from Schwinnart and Ferrari hooking the ball very fine it's his third boundary that he's hit off the bat according to Darrell Hare but their runs and that has pushed New Zealand into a position now where it hardly seems possible they won't win at 241 for five only need 11 now this time very full from Srinath badly directed going down the leg side and Perori managing to get a very fine leg glance four more Punch in there with delight. That's a good shot. Beautiful stroke. And for four. Expensive over from Shavagal Swinat. 15 from the over. Go. Yeah, that's well run. It hasn't gone outside the circle, and they've still got two. Well, the semi finals now beckoning for New Zealand. Almost there. The relief team in the dressing room and on the balcony. Bear in mind, 
India were out of the World Cup semi-finals, but um, if they'd won this game, New Zealand would have been out as well. And it's been a tight encounter all the way. Rain intervened at one stage. Stopped the New Zealanders when they were in uh, quite good flow. And four. New Zealand go to the semi-finals of this World Cup. And there's a lot of jubilation there from uh, the New Zealand fans and from neutrals here have seen a very good game of cricket. New Zealand have beaten India and New Zealand have gone to five points.